Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you guys all of my tips and kind of like advice on how to start YouTube and how to help your growth on YouTube. I haven't done an updated one of these in a while and I'm actually posting this video on May 9th, which means when this video is posted, I've officially been on YouTube for two years. I posted my first video on May 5th, 2020, I believe. And so that's kind of crazy that we've been here for two years. In that two years, I've gained over 95,000 subscribers, which is honestly crazy. So I just wanted to give you guys some tips on how to grow your channel on YouTube or how to start a channel. The support that you guys have given me so far on YouTube is crazy and I am so incredibly thankful. So thank you so much for all of your guys' support so far and I'm really excited to keep growing with you guys here on YouTube. If you're interested in more of my YouTube help videos such as how I edit and just other YouTube related videos, I do have a playlist for those so I'll put it up here in the iCard. I believe it's just called YouTube help. Also there are timestamps in this video so if you want to skip to a certain part of the video, feel free to run your cursor along the timeline of the video or just check the description. They will all be listed down there. That's all I really have to say for the intro, so let's get started. Okay, so the first part of this category is obviously the filming equipment. When you're starting off on YouTube, you do not need to invest in a fancy camera or anything too expensive. You can really use any phone or camera that you already have on hand. When I started my channel, I started using my phone originally and that worked great. The quality wasn't like bad or anything and it's definitely a great way to get started. Also, having a tripod is super, super helpful. Even if you're filming on your phone or if you have a camera, using a tripod while you're filming is one of the best ways I feel like you can film. I'm literally using a tripod right now. I have a handheld tripod for my camera, which is what I'm using now since it's like on a desk. But then I also have this tripod, which is a bigger one. And then it also extends to be very, very tall. And I use this for like other types of shots that I need. This one's from Amazon. And I think the one that I'm using right now is from Amazon. All the equipment that I use that are from Amazon should be on my Amazon storefront. And that is linked in every description of every video. So if you're interested in like the links to all the products I use. Those are on the Amazon storefront. But when I did use my phone to film in the beginning of my YouTube channel, I did also have a tripod for that. And it's so, so helpful when you're filming because then you don't have to find like a ledge or something to set your phone up on. And then eventually when you do start gaining popularity, I guess on YouTube or like getting bigger, I would recommend investing in a camera just because it helps with the camera quality a lot. And if you do invest in a camera, which you don't have to, but if you do, I would suggest buying some spare batteries and SD cards or maybe even just one battery or SD card just like extra in case because I know for me when I'm filming especially when I film like longer videos my camera battery dies and I want to have extras on hand and same with SD cards it's nice to have multiple so like on the camera I'm filming right now I have a few extra batteries here and then I also do have extra SD cards and then I use a few different things while I film so first off I have the camera that I'm filming on now this is the Canon EOS M50 I think I think it's a great starting camera on YouTube because you can use it for sit down videos and vlogging. Obviously, I think it would be more for sit down just because it's not like heavy, but it's definitely not super light. You can use it to vlog. Like when I'm at home, I'll use it to vlog. And then I did recently invest in a new lens for it that's a little bit of a wider angle lens. I don't know if you can really tell a difference, but it does make the amount that you can see a little wider. I don't exactly know the name of it. And then I did also buy an external microphone to put on this camera, which I'll insert like a picture of it now. Now, basically, it's a Rode microphone. I've used it for a long time and I really like it and it captures the sound much better and blocks out any wind or anything in the air. So that is like my main camera. And then I did also invest in a vlog camera. You definitely do not need multiple cameras to do like vlogs and sit down videos, but I just found it was really helpful. So the camera that I use for vlogging is the Canon G7X Mark II. This is one of the most popular cameras that people use on YouTube. And I think that would be the best starting camera for anyone on YouTube just because it's not as expensive as other cameras. You can vlog with it, you can do sit down videos with it, and it's still a really nice camera. And then for editing, I have a few suggestions, I guess. So for people that are just starting on YouTube, I think the best software for editing would be iMovie. iMovie is a free app that comes on all Apple products. So it's not available on like Androids, but it's available on all Apple products. And it has a ton of editing tools that you guys can use. That's how I started editing my videos. And I just find that it's a little bit easier to start with. And it's free, of course. 
once you get more advanced, I would suggest investing in a more advanced, I guess, editing software. So for that, it could be, I think there's like Adobe Premiere Pro, I think is what it's called. And then there's also Final Cut Pro. I personally use Final Cut Pro. It is only available on Apple iMacs or like laptops. And it is $300, but honestly, I think it's very worth it. You only have to pay that $300 once and you get everything that comes with it. And there are just so many good editing tools on there. Like that is my favorite editing software. But obviously when you're starting out, you do not need to invest in anything expensive. Okay, so I do have some tips for you guys while you're filming. My first tip is to try to film in as much natural light as possible or just make sure you have good lighting. I prefer natural lighting over artificial just because I find it gives better lighting. Like I'm filming right in front of a window right now and I don't know, I like the look of it better in my videos than when I'm just filming in front of a lamp. But honestly, it depends on like your camera and what kind of vibe I guess you want on your channel. But I find natural lighting works anytime and you don't need to go out and like buy lighting it's like literally right there so I would just say to make sure you have good lighting and that it looks good in your camera or whatever you're filming with before you film a video because I know it can be frustrating when you film a video and it ends up looking bad and then while you're filming make sure you're looking at the actual camera or camera lens of what you're filming on because it can be annoying when you're watching like a video and you see them looking at the viewfinder versus the actual lens so I've been working on this especially recently just because I feel like recently I've been looking at the viewfinder more than the actual lens. So I've been working on it, but when you're filming, it can be difficult to just wanna look at yourself and make sure everything looks good. But when you're actually watching a video, I think it looks better to look at the lens. So like I'm looking at it right now, which makes me kind of look like I'm looking at you, if that makes sense. So like if you're filming on your phone, make sure you're looking at the actual like cameras and not something else like a screen. Also make sure you have good sound while you're filming, which means filming in a more quiet place so you can hear your voice or to invest in a microphone if you want to just to get that sound a little better and then during your filming session get as much content as possible it has happened to me plenty of times where I filmed a video and then I go to edit it and it only ends up being like five to eight minutes of footage which isn't like bad but I prefer my videos to be at least 10 minutes so it's very frustrating to me to have to go back and film so just make sure you get as much content as possible because while you're editing you can always cut stuff out or delete stuff Okay, so I have three main tips for like posting videos and kind of crafting your channel in a way. My first tip is to stay consistent. It's hard to know what the YouTube algorithm really likes versus what they don't like, but the more consistent that you post your videos, which means like one video every week or like two videos every week, the more consistent you are with the videos that you post, the more likely YouTube will recommend your videos to the people watching. And I definitely think that works because I've gone like a month or so where I wasn't very consistent and. I was kind of just off and on and I've noticed that my view count and like followers and stuff wasn't at the level that it has been before when I was consistent but now that I'm back like doing one to two videos a week it's doing very very well my channel is doing much better than it was before so definitely try to stay consistent but also like don't pressure yourself too much because obviously your mental health matters more than like a video that you post my second tip is to stick to a niche I think that's what it's called and if you don't know what it is it's basically like the theme of your channel and the videos you post so so for example, if you post gaming videos, like if that's your channel thing that you like to do a lot and those videos get you like popular and people enjoy them, stick to those videos. Do not just start posting like cooking videos out of nowhere and then ditch the gaming videos. Do what works for you and your channel, but also make sure to do what you truly love. Like obviously if you don't like gaming anymore and you wanna do cooking, go right ahead, but don't like flip flop back and forth a lot because that can cause people to be like not as engaged in your videos. And then my third tip is to engage with your followers so when you post a video or when you post like a community post like and respond to as many comments as you can because I noticed that like the more I reply to comments the more people want to comment if that makes any sense and that definitely helps my reach and also it just helps me connect with you guys more and I think it makes me feel good as well as you guys all right, so this section I feel like is going to be the most popular section of this video, and that is my five tips for growth. And I think growth is one of the hardest things to like achieve and be able to do well on YouTube, at least when you're first starting, because it can be very discouraging in the beginning. So here are my five main tips to help you guys grow on YouTube. The first one is to stay true to yourself. Basically what I'm trying to say is don't try to copy popular creators or just the people that you like to watch and that you see are more successful. Post the videos that truly resonate 
resonate with you and that make your channel more unique to yourself, obviously it's good to take inspiration from other people and that definitely can help growth is to take inspiration, but do not copy people because if you copy someone's channel that's already successful, people may not be as interested in your channel because you're making the same videos as the one that's already popular, if that makes sense. So just try to do things that are more unique to you and that people find different from others. My second tip is to be patient because growth takes time. For some people, it might take like a year to gain a thousand subscribers and for some people, it might take like five years. Your channel growth can differ for different people and different time periods. So don't feel discouraged if you see other people growing faster on YouTube or if you notice that you're not growing super fast. And also don't be discouraged if you like gain 1,000 subscribers one month and then only gain like 100 the next. YouTube growth is very iffy and it's not very consistent. So definitely don't feel discouraged and keep going and stay patient. My third tip is to post as consistently as possible. I know I already talked about this earlier in the video, but I just think it's very important. And it's probably the biggest thing that I've learned so far on YouTube. So when you're posting, try to post at least once a week and around similar days slash times. So if someone posts on a Thursday every single week, obviously people will start to realize that, oh, their video posts on a Thursday. So I'll be on YouTube when their video posts. That can definitely help your engagement increase very quickly because people know when your videos are gonna come out. So they're gonna be more prepared. My fourth tip is to promote yourself. I know this can be a little bit scary for some people to do when you're first starting a channel because you might be embarrassed or you might be nervous that people are going to judge you or make fun of you. And trust me, I had the exact same feelings when I started my channel. I was definitely worried that like people at school would have thought I was weird, but I do find that promoting yourself at least a little bit when you're starting your channel definitely helps you get that start on subscribers. And this doesn't have to be anything big. It can be as simple as telling family members or a few friends. And sometimes it can be beneficial to promote yourself in more popular creators comments. But I will admit sometimes, at least when it happens to me, it can annoy me just because it can make me feel like the people who are promoting themselves in my comments are trying to use my followers to gain followers themselves when I did not do that. I gained my followers all on my own. The only people I told were friends and family. So sometimes it feels like people are using me for my followers, you know, like they'll just spam my comments with go check out my channel or I'm a new YouTuber. Like I want to support you guys, but sometimes at least for me, it can be a little bit annoying because it just feels like you're using me for my followers. My last tip is to put in your time and effort. If you actually want your channel to be successful and reach people, it is crucial that you put your time and effort into it because the more effort you put into your videos, the more people will recognize that and they will want to support you. Obviously, if you're filming a video and the editing is just lazy, like you can tell they didn't spend time on it, obviously that can make you think that they don't really care about what they do. And I care about what I do, so I spend a lot of time on my videos. And I think that definitely like radiates off on my followers and they notice that, which is great because you don't want to do something that you're proud of and people not notice it, if you know what I mean. And then for this last section, I decided to pick out, I think I have six questions that I've gotten a lot recently from you guys on like DMs and comments related to YouTube and like starting YouTube and put it in a mini Q&A just so I can like answer them for you guys in this video form because they can be hard to answer in a comment. So the first question I have gotten so much and it's not only from you guys, but it's also from friends, family, people at school. And it is, how did you gain subscribers so fast? My answer to that is I do not know. Obviously some people have gained them faster than I have. But for me, the time that it took for me to gain 50,000 subscribers was literally like a month over a year. So maybe like 13 months or so. That's really fast, at least faster than I was expecting. I think something that definitely helped my growth was just staying consistent and really putting my personality and what I liked into a video for you guys and caring about it. How long did it take you to get paid on YouTube and how does YouTube revenue work? YouTube revenue is something that I had to do a lot of research on because I feel like a a lot of people don't talk about it sometimes. I don't exactly remember how long it took me to get paid. I remember like really just working to get to the point where I could get paid because you need to hit a thousand subscribers and some amount of like watch hours and then you have to apply. I don't exactly remember how long it took me to get paid. And the revenue that you get from YouTube is basically from the ads that play on your video. And YouTube revenue is not consistent at all. You might make $2,000 one month and then $1,000 the next month. And then maybe you hit $5,000 a month after that. It 
really depends on your engagement and like your growth. So definitely don't expect like a consistent amount every month because it can fluctuate a lot. What is the YouTube algorithm and how does it work? So the YouTube algorithm is basically what gets viewers to watch certain videos. Like it suggests videos to them and it can help your channel with growth. The YouTube algorithm is not consistent at all. There's not really any certain way to get it to work with you and your videos. The only tip I really have regarding the YouTube algorithm is to post consistently because the more consistently you post, the more likely the YouTube algorithm will suggest your videos to other people to watch. The YouTube algorithm is just confusing and honestly, it's not something to stress about. I would not worry about it as long as you're doing what you're doing and you're good. Don't worry about the YouTube algorithm. It's not anything super important and it doesn't really decide your fate on YouTube, if that makes sense. When you first started your YouTube channel, was it hard to gain subscribers and motivation? I think for me, I went into starting YouTube with the expectation of like not gaining a lot of subscribers, at least in the beginning. So when I noticed that I was gaining like one to 10 subscribers a week, it was like, I didn't really stress about it. But I definitely would say I did not just gain subscribers really quickly when I first started. It definitely took a few months. And I would say sometimes it would be hard to get motivation only because I was so new to it that it was like, I didn't really know what I was doing. So if I ran out of video ideas, it would be like, I didn't know what to do at that point. And I would just be like, well, what do I do now? You know? So in the beginning, I would say it's definitely hard to gain subscribers and gain motivation, but be patient and stick with it because once you get into the flow and everything starts just working out for you, it is so nice. It feels so good just to like have everything come together. Is it worth it to start a channel? I would definitely say yes, at least for me, because I was really interested in it. So it has definitely affected my life in a positive way. And if any of you guys are wondering if you should start a channel, if it's worth it, I would say yes, because you can always stop your channel. Like if you notice that, hey, I don't like this anymore or whatever, you can stop it. Like you're not committed to it. But I have found that the more I get into YouTube and I get more creative with things, I definitely find it very important in my life. The pros definitely outweigh the cons. And I would say it's worth it because you never know what it could turn into. The last question I have for this mini Q&A is how did you make your channel so aesthetic? There's a lot of things that go into making your channel aesthetic. And that's definitely not something you have to do when you start your channel. For me personally, I just wanted to make my channel look good. At least what I wanted it to look like. And I wanted it to like appeal to people that I was like put together and I actually cared about my channel. So some tips I have for that are to make sure you have a profile picture. I would also recommend to have a channel banner and one that looks good and kind of sums up the aesthetic that you want your channel to have. Lastly, I would make sure to have good thumbnails when you post your videos. Your thumbnails do not need to look aesthetic or like cute like other YouTubers. Just make sure your thumbnails kind of match the overall aesthetic of your channel. So I do believe that is all I have for today's video. If you guys have any other questions related to YouTube or YouTube growth or starting a channel, let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely try to get to your comment and respond to it. I want to thank you guys again so, so much for your support. It really means the world to me and it's crazy that in two years I have over 95,000 subscribers on YouTube. We've made it through another year and I'm excited to continue to post more for you guys in the next year. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!